If you're trying to make money with AI and automations, but you don't know what kind of builds actually sell, this video is going to change that. I'm walking you through exactly how I would turn a real world business problem into a $2,000 solution, step by step. If you're into making money and saving time with AI and automations, hit the like button and subscribe and let's dive in. Okay, to show you what I mean, I'm going to use this build of the week prompt generator that I made. Basically, it creates a real world use case from a business owner. So let's give it a spin. So I run a small coaching practice, mindset and productivity stuff, and I get discovery calls booked through Calendly. After the call, I usually send a little summary of what we talked about, plus a link to book a package. The problem is I'm doing all of that manually and it's eating up my evenings. Like I'll check my Calendly for who booked, then write a follow-up email from Gmail, paste the booking link for my website and try to remember to tag them in my Notion CRM thing so I know where they're at. Half the time I forget and then people ghost or get confused about the next steps. What I really want is once a Calendly call is done, I want it to automatically send a follow-up email with their name, a recap template, and a booking link, and then also tag them in Notion as had discovery calls so I don't lose track. Just enough to keep the flow going without me doing everything by hand. So this is the perfect example of a business that's struggling to follow up with leads. And so if I'm looking at this from the perspective of like, if I'm having a call with someone, with a business owner, and they're telling me this, what I'm hearing is, it's taking time to do this manually. Leads are still falling through the cracks and that's leading to lost revenue. So the things that I would ask is like, what is a, what do your packages go for? Like when you sell to a client, what is the, like, the average revenue that they bring in? And so let's say they get 10 leads a month and for every customer that they close, let's say they have a 50% close rate and for every customer that they close, it's a $2,000 package. So if they are even missing one lead per month because of their, you know, the manual follow-up process, that is costing them $2,000 a month in lost revenue. In addition to the lost revenue, you know, they said that they're doing all this by hand. So if they are following up with 10 leads, let's say that's an hour per lead and there's back and forth. They're having to send the email. They're having to go update Notion. They're, let's say it's an hour per lead. So that's 10 hours of manual work each month for a system that's not really working for them. So I would frame it in this way. I would say, okay, so here are the impacts to your business. You're missing out on at least 2K every month. You're spending 10 plus hours every month in manual processes that don't work. And I like to throw in reputational risk. So if someone books a call with this coach and then the coach is disorganized and doesn't have a really clear next step for this person, maybe they really wanted to join their coaching program, but because they were so disorganized, it kind of damaged that relationship or damaged their their view of that coach. And so it extends beyond just the money and the time. It also speaks to their reputation, like their personal brand. And that's hard to you know, compute a value for because it's so deep and it is so broad. So if I were going to build a solution that solved this problem once and for all for this business, I would say, look, it's costing you $2,000 a month in lost revenue, not to mention the time that you're spending doing this, that 10 hours a month, which you could go out and be acquiring more clients. You could be learning different things and improving your products so that it's a $4,000 package instead of 2000 so that 10 hours is not just like 10 hours where you could be watching Netflix. It's literally an addition. It's like the opportunity cost, right? So what am I losing out on by having to spend that time doing something tedious rather than doing something revenue generating? So that $2,000 a month is just that hard cost, that direct cost of that lost lead, but the cost extends far beyond that. So if I were selling a solution to this client, I could say, I can build you something that automatically summarizes your call, automatically sends the link to book a package, and sends that via email and maybe even via text automatically for you, then goes and tags that person in your Notion database and even provides like a summary there. So you can go and say, oh, that's what this call was about. Oh, this was the business owner that does X, Y, and Z. So it's providing a summary, not just to the person you had a call with, but also to you so that you can remember details in case you have a follow-up call with them or need to follow up with them in some other way. But I would even take it one step further and say, you know what, like sending that initial email is great, but a lot of people, you need to follow up with them multiple times. So how about sending an automated sequence where if they haven't responded or they haven't booked a call, according to your Notion database, 
then it will continue to follow up with them. Maybe it can send them a couple text messages or WhatsApp messages and make sure that they have their discovery call and then end up closing. And so now if I'm selling this package to this business owner, let's say I can build this for $4,000, I could say, you'll get ROI in two months. So you're going to get your return on investment in two months. And then beyond that, everything else is just money in the bank. That's just additional income. And like I said, that 10 extra hours that you get back every month for not having to manually chase these leads, plus what I'm proposing that we build for you, which is additional follow-up for that person so that they actually do come through and become a paying customer, paying client. You might even see ROI in one month. You might see ROI in three weeks. But the point is really understanding what the business's problems and pain points are and then connecting that to the real world impact. So not just, oh yeah, this is gonna save you time or oh, this uses AI, so it's really cool. Businesses don't care about that. They wanna know how much extra money am I gonna make or how much money am I gonna save for not having to spend it on something like another software or a platform or hiring someone else. And so when they see it spelled out in black and white, like this is the money that my business is bleeding out because of this issue. This is how much it would cost to fix and that it's fixed forever. It becomes a no brainer for them. So whenever I send a proposal to a potential client, I'll always send like an accompanying Loom video. And basically I want them to physically see what the solution looks like and that I already have a sense of exactly how it should work. And let me kind of just walk through what that would look like. Okay, so I'm looking at the Calendly trigger, which would be the natural first place to look. But on event canceled, I don't want to use that. And on event created, I don't want to use that. The reason being is on event created basically just means like whenever a new event is created, it can send them an email or send them a text. Like it happens immediately. But what I need is after the event, that's where I need the follow up to take place. So I'm going to assume that this person is using Zoom. And if they're not, then I can make a business case for them why they should be using Zoom for these calls. Okay, so the way that I envision this workflow taking place is after the Zoom call ends, this automation is going to grab the audio recording, transcribe it, and then I'm going to have ChatGPT summarize that transcription, create an email from Gmail, to provide the summary and the booking link or the purchase link via email, then it's going to update Notion, marking that person as had a discovery call. And another thing is I also want to keep this workflow extensible, meaning I want it to be easy to add additional functionality. Like I said, I'm going to try to convince this, this business owner, hey, that's great that you have the discovery call and you want to send that first email, but what you need is a follow-up system. So that might be multiple emails. That might include sending an SMS message or a WhatsApp message, but it needs to go beyond just sending that very first email. So what I'm going to do is I actually created this Zoom analyzer workflow, and I'm going to copy it over to this workflow that I'm going to be building out for this business. But now I have something to kind of work off of and it'll be easy for me to tweak. And again, I'm only kind of building like a skeleton framework out, but I just want to be able to visually represent the solution that I'm building for this business so that when I send them a Loom video, I can say, this is exactly how it's going to flow. This is the time it's going to save. This is the money that it's going to save. And this is the revenue it's going to generate for you. It's going to check for any calls that took place in the last hour. It's going to grab the audio from those calls. It's going to split the audio out. This is just a step to normalize the file name and remove this if node because this only applied to the other workflow. And then I'm going to change this last node to Notion instead of Airtable because the client in the prompt mentioned that they use Notion. I'm going to send a message via Gmail and it's going to provide a summary of the call, which was transcribed from the Zoom audio by OpenAI. And then this model, which is just GPT-4, and I'm going to give it explicit instructions like, here's how I want you to modify this transcription to make it relevant to the user, which is the potential client. Okay, so now going back to the notes from our potential client. So let's make sure that this hits all of the points that they mentioned. So in this case, even though they mentioned specifically Calendly, that's not a tool that we need to include in our workflow. And that's because of the limitations of the triggers that are in Calendly. Plus, we can just use Zoom to grab the audio and then transcribe that. So after the call, send that little summary. And that's what our GPT model is going to be doing with the transcription. And then it's going to 
include a link to book a package. So the follow-up email is going to be pre-written. It's going to be the same every time. And all it's going to do is dynamically change the potential client's name through the NADN mapping. No need to paste a manual link every time. That's going to be automatically taken care of in NADN. And then tagging them in Notion so that the tracking happens automatically. So if they're going to be tagged as had a discovery call so that they don't lose track. And then the conversation that I would have or what I would mention at the end of the Loom video that I was creating for this particular potential client of mine, I would say, this is fantastic. This right here is going to be life-changing for you. So not only is it going to save you 10 hours every month and not having to go back and forth, look in your Notion database, look on Calendly, look on a million different places, it's all going to be handled behind the scenes automatically. So you get those 10 hours back every month and you could invest in your business and learn something new, add something to your existing client base, sell more to them, or create a higher ticket package and sell that to new clients. But in addition to that 10 hours that you're going to get back every month, you're also going to not let any leads fall through the cracks. So if that is going to save you one lost deal every month, what you told me on our call is that that's a $2,000 value. So you're going to be earning an additional $2,000 each month just for not doing anything additional. That's just for not losing those leads when they come through your funnel. And then you're not going to suffer any reputational damage. So by that, I mean, people aren't going to think, oh man, she she's a coach. She doesn't have her, her life together. How can she be coaching me if she can't even get back to me on like on time via email? And so what I want to recommend to you is in addition to sending that first email, what I propose is sending a seven email follow-up sequence. And the way it would work is it's going to wait a day to two days between each email, and it's going to send them something valuable relating to the call that you had. So it's going to use that transcript from your call and generate action steps or tips or anything that's going to be valuable to that particular person. And it's all done on autopilot. So it's all customized. And it's all done by AI and automation. So you never have to touch it and you never have to worry that it's not going to be relevant to that person because it always will be. But that follow-up email sequence is going to follow up with people who maybe didn't respond to the first email and are going to get them across the finish line and help them close. You could also use that as an opportunity to upsell them on another higher ticket offer if they've already come through and become a paying customer. So that's just going to lead to additional income and really giving that perception that you understand their struggles, their problems and their pain points and how you can help them to get to the other side of that, because each of these messages that they receive are going to be customized. Something else that I want to mention is you might want to consider doing SMS or WhatsApp marketing just to, you know, even if it's just to say, hey, check your email because I sent you something you're going to want to take a look. And the reason being is we're glued to our phones and 98% of text messages get opened versus maybe 30% of emails. So it just might be something that's going to be a, a really small tweak that's going to have a really big impact. And so now I've just sent this Loom video. I've sent the proposal. And now the client sees the actual impact that it's going to have in their business they understand that I understand what their problems and pain points are and exactly how to solve them. They can see that I basically already built it for them. And so now they can visually see, wow, this is the thing that's going to change my life. So now at this point, I've had a call with this potential client. I've sent them a proposal. I've now sent them this Loom video. And so really I have spelled out that I understand their problems, their pain points, and exactly the steps that we need to take to get them to where they want to be. Not only that, but I've suggested additional things that we could implement that are going to help them beyond what they even knew that they needed. And so in combination, all of these things together make a tremendous impact on a business owner who might think that they have this problem, but they don't realize that there's a whole spectrum of problems around that that they don't necessarily see or are aware of that I can see as like the consultant in this situation that I can address proactively for them so that they're not having to come back every few months because something new has popped up. So like I said, if I were building this for a real world client, I can comfortably charge for this particular use case, comfortably charge two to $4,000 because I've articulated back with the, the client's own words, what the impact will be for them and how quickly they'll achieve ROI. If this video helped you think differently about how to implement AI and automations in a business, hit subscribe, hit the like button and drop a comment and give me your biggest business problem. And I might turn it into my next build. Want to learn how to create offers just like the one in this video? 
Click the link down below and join my community, AI Foundations. And if you're a business owner who wants this kind of system built for you, there's a link down below in the description for you as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.